Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Max and today I'm going to be talking about Batwoman, specifically things that happened in the final episode of season two and just kind of my general thoughts on what could happen in season three. Now, for those of you who have been watching the channel, specifically the Batwoman content, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of kind of the, the Bat family, but the show has never really piqued my interest to the point of where I feel like I need to watch it every week. It did for a little bit, but then in my opinion, it kind of fell off and I didn't really have the draw to watch it. But I did watch the final episode and I do think the show is kind of finding its footing on being less of a like a human based show and more of a Gotham based show because something that's always been kind of throughout the Batman universe is that Gotham is kind of like a, a big character in the show. And I think we're really starting to see that. Gotham started doing that, the, the show on Fox in season two. And I think Batwoman is starting to realize that now as well, that they need to really play into the city and what the city can provide. So I do think that is good. But this episode, this final episode was really interesting to me because they built this entire season or at least the the backbone of the season off of finding out what happened with Kate Kane you know was she killed in the plane crash did Sophia you know kidnap her and have her you know the the whole thing with black mask all of it and they really built the season around this yes they introduced Ryan as the new Batwoman and all of the characters really had some key story parts but it was kind of centered around the idea of finding Kate again, and when they announced that Kate would be coming back in one of the promos, everybody was really excited to see what would happen with her storyline. I'm sure the views went up because of it, because I know a lot of people wanted Kate to come back, and it seemed like they were, you know, building up to a lot of great stuff. The actress who portrayed kind of this new version of Kate, I think she did a really good job of blending the old version, but also bringing her own spin on it. And people were really enjoying this character, even though she wasn't fully Kate Kane until the last episode. And then they announced that she is going to be kind of leaving to find Bruce, and that this is essentially, as of right now, her exit from the show. I think this is a huge mistake because while it makes sense that at least that they didn't kill her off or anything so they can bring her back, it kind of seems like you you wasted season two in the sense of what it set out to do because it was all about like, where's Kate Kane? I think that was even the title of one episode. So a lot of it was based around bringing this character back that people love and now that they've brought this character back the characters leaving again. So I think that's a huge mistake on the part of the writers or showrunners or whoever made that decision because now you're going to have people upset that they got this version of Kate that they liked better than the season one as a whole based on what I've heard and now this character is gone. So it's not even like a mystery thing anymore where it's, oh, is she alive? We know she's alive, but she is just not in the show anymore. And I think that's what's getting on a lot of people's nerves is they are promised the return of this character. They got the return of this character for like the last half of the final episode of season two and now this character is gone again. So it was kind of like a false hope that was built up around seeing Kate and I think you know obviously they're doing this because they want Ryan as the Batwoman moving forward but they could have had Kate there in some way shape or form whether she's the kind of Oracle like character uh, she could have been that for Ryan you know more Batcave based maybe she was kind of like the the show's version of Alfred in a way or you know whatever just something that could keep her there maybe she becomes another character from the Bat family similar to how Luke is Batwing now and I really think they just kind of dropped the ball on delivering to fans what they set out to do at the beginning of the season and made everybody stick around for something that ultimately wasn't going to last very long. Now when it comes to season three, obviously I think they should bring Kate back as a character and I think they might. Once they see the fan outrage, I can't imagine, you know, I think the, the season premieres in October. So they have a lot of time, I think, at least in the later part of the season, depending on how much they've written, to bring Kate back if they have a, a view count that drops by like a hundred thousand or whatever I think they would bring her back because they would you know obviously need to do it because of money but you know season three really seems like it's becoming more of a uh, a bat family driven show because of the villains that are coming out there now we saw a lot of the villains unique weapons uh, Alice used Joker's 
acid flower. I think that was a really good use of that because it seems like this might be the explanation for how Black Mask's mask gets stuck on his face since I believe he put it on after the acid was sprayed and I think that's a nice little Easter egg if they want to continue with that character. But they did introduce other villains weapons and we saw three of them highlighted at the end of the episode and this was Poison Ivy's Vine, Penguin's Umbrella, and Mad Hatter's Hat. I think if they bring these characters in, they're going to see a big jump in viewership because whenever shows such as Gotham on Fox brought in a Joker-like character played by Cameron Monaghan, who ultimately became the Joker, but they couldn't use the Joker because they wanted to focus on that character specifically in the films. But anyway, he was the Joker of Gotham. They just couldn't use it by name. And views always went up whenever he was on the show. And I think Batwoman's been focusing a lot on kind of, you know, smaller or show-created villains. And they brought Black Mask in for season two. And I think that was kind of the start of what they're going to do now, which is have a lot of Batman villains come into play. I do feel a little worried based on what I believe the, the director said or the writer said about these characters because it did seem like that they might not have the characters themselves but people kind of take it upon themselves to mimic these characters I think that would be a huge mistake and pretty much the death of the show because you got rid of Kate and now you're you know kind of promising us these villains and then to not deliver on that either it's like what do you have left but if they bring these villains in I think the viewership will rise a lot because everybody always wants to see the new iterations of these characters it doesn't matter if they like the show if they like Batwoman as a character if they like the CW it doesn't matter they want to see these characters that they've read in the comics or watched in the you know tv shows seen in the movies for all these years and see what the new adaptation of these characters is so i think that would be really good if they bring the characters themselves into the show and it could help the show a lot even if kate doesn't return so that's about all i have for now thank you so much for checking out this video if you like it please like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one